Member for Caribou North. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Today, I am proud to highlight a change maker in my constituency, Lisa Scott. Lisa is an active supporter of the BC Centre for Women in Trades, an organization that has made a significant difference in her life and her career. Lisa has been organizing discovery trade camps for young women and Indigenous youth in Quinell. It provides youth the opportunity to experience the fun and excitement of interactive trades exploration while also providing them very important life skills. Each of the week-long camps, participants are introduced to an array of trades and industry. The camps include occupational health safety, different trades such as carpentry, electricry, welding, masonry, painting, plumbing, welding, sheet metal, heavy-duty equipment operations, and the forest industry under the guidance of skilled tradespeople, facilitators, and mentors from across British Columbia. I had the opportunity, Mr. Speaker, to attend the first graduating class of students from grades four through seven. And I can share with members of this House what a humbling and impactful moment, one of those truly clarifying job moments in my career. The pride of both the young students and their families, parents, grandparents, in many cases great-grandparents came to our local North Caribou community campus to appreciate the work these students did. And I can share that the students made some remarkable projects. This passion for supporting trades in our community has now expanded across this province. And just in the last few weeks, Lisa has been able to do electrical projects with a group of Indigenous students at Quinell Junior School, sat on a panel to speak at the BC Centre for Women in Trades Leadership Training Conference, and supported students in Lytton at the Stein Valley Nome School with the electrical portion of the Trade Sampler Program. Lisa and her colleagues, partners, organizations have come together to support this training, making a considerable difference. It is changing people's lives, and for that, let us offer her our appreciation.